Memorial Day is this weekend, and that means many people are getting out their grills. And Gent Home is here to answer the question if there's any danger to grilling. Well, Liz, we all are excited about yeah. getting outside, but in recent years, some studies have shown that grilling meat at high temperatures can cause cancer. In today's house calls, Dr. Dominic Nompleggi, the chief of gastroenterology at UMass Memorial Medical Center, joins us live via Skype with some answers. Thank you for joining us, doctor. Thank you. Well, what happens to meat when it's cooked at high temperatures? What happens when uh, particularly red meats are cooked at very high temperatures, there are certain chemicals that are uh, created, produced, uh, called heterocyclic aromatic, aromatic um, carbons, uh, HCAs, or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, and these are the potential carcinogens. Uh, the way they are uh, thought to be carcinogens is that they act on the DNA and cause uh, uh, injury to the genes. What types of cancers are linked to cooking meat at these high temperatures? Yes. What type of cancers? Are there certain the types of cancers that are linked to cooking at high temperatures? Well, the, the data on this isn't um, as clear cut as it is with other carcinogens like, sm like tobacco. And so when we talk about these, we talk about maybe, could be, probably are associated with particular cancers. And for the most part, um, in, uh, in people who eat um, lots of uh, red meat, that increase in cancer has been seen mainly in colon cancer, stomach cancer, and somewhat in breast cancer. So is it true with non-red meat as well, chicken or fish cooking on the grill? It is, but far less so. And interestingly, one uh, piece of information is that it's been shown that if you marinate the meat before you cook it at these high temperatures, fewer of these chemicals are produced and the risk for cancer goes down tremendously. So what can people do, other things that people can do to reduce the risk of cooking meat? One of the things you can do b besides marinating the meat is to use a meat thermometer to cook the meat and only cook the meat to a temperature where um, it's fully cooked and not overcooked because when parts of the meat become charred or when uh, drippings from the meat hit the fire and flare up, it causes greater production of these potential carcinogens and increases the risk. That's interesting because a lot of people like that that flaring up and, and getting the meat charred. Exactly. That's kind of the fun of it. So is, do you think, so should we be afraid of grilling on Memorial Day weekend? No, I, you know, I think the message is not to be afraid of grilling on Memorial Day weekend, but to be a little bit cautious. I don't think anyone's going to eat enough um, grilled red meat on Memorial Day weekend uh, to increase their risk for um, colon or stomach cancer, but I think in people who consume large amounts of grilled meat, particularly red meat, over a long period of time, they may have an increased risk. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, doctor, and giving us some very interesting information. Now, if you have a medical question, email us at housecalls at cbs3springfield.com, and we'll ask it to a, to a doctor or a medical professional during one of these live Skype interviews.